<laughs> Normally my voice is loud enough. But first of all, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for what you do. I could never teach. I could never guard prisoners. I could never be a police officer. I could never be a typist. I could never do what you do day in and day out. As a state senator, what I do when I get a call from a constituent is I call you. I call you because I don't know the answer. I'm not doing the job at the DNR. I'm not doing the job at the DOT. I talk to somebody who knows. The last thing I want to have to do is call a corporation <coughs> to find out what's going on in my state. And yeah. make no mistake about it, you guys. Oh, yeah. This is this is a hostile corporate takeover yes, of Wisconsin. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're going to stop this right now. And it starts today. It starts today. And I do think, as Sly said, as Marty said, I think we're going to be pretty happy tonight, no matter yeah. where we're drinking a beer. <laughs> For those of you folks who have traveled to other districts and have worked on the recalls, you are helping people and you are touching people's lives who you will never, ever meet. There's a woman in West Bend right now who's single, who's on Badger Care. There is a, 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 a couple somewhere up in Eau Claire right now with a couple of kids who are on Badger Care. There's a senior citizen on Senior Care right now. You are affecting their lives in such a positive way. You need to know that. You'll never meet them. You'll never get a thanks from them. But what you're doing right now is making a huge difference up and down the state of Wisconsin. So I, for one, am looking forward to spending the entire summer with you. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to recall Randy Hopper. Yeah. 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 And then there's Luther Olson and the list goes on. We need to get the majority back in the state Senate. Yeah. 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 We can do that this summer with your help. Your help, we can do that because us, we, we being the Democrats, we believe in what you do. We know we could never do what you do. That's why we ran for office. <laughs> <laughs> now, those people who think they can tell you how to do your job, we pass laws all the time, all the time. On, on if you're going to be a teacher, you got to be this and this and this. Unless, of course, you're going to work in a private school, then you don't need any of that. That's wrong. We have divided the state of Wisconsin, and we are in a place right now we shouldn't be. Governor Walker was uh, took over in January. The Packers won, what, early February. And then we have the budget repair bill. That was the ultimate buzz kill. That's what that was. We got to enjoy the Super Bowl victory for about two minutes. And then it's to work. But what I've seen in the budget repair bill and what we're about to see in the state budget is an all-out attack. I want, to be, I want you guys to listen to this. This is not about guns. This is not about pro-life, pro-choice. This is not about any of that stuff. This is about an all-out attack on the middle class of the state of Wisconsin. What Scott Walker wants to do, and the Senate Republicans want to do, is they want to turn Wisconsin into a place where either you can afford to live here, or you can work for the people who can afford to live here. The middle class is under attack, and we are Wisconsin. The middle class is the majority of Wisconsin. We are the reason why Wisconsin is what it is today, the middle class. It struggles, it fights, it works, it pays its bills, it goes out and it spends money to yeah. keep the economy yeah. going. Yeah. So I brought it up. I'm going to hit this home. You ask a realtor who doesn't like the Democrats how many listings they're going to lose because a public employee took a huge pay cut. Yeah. 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 That. You ask a small business owner right now how many fish fries they're going to lose as a result of it. Yeah. We're yeah. talking a lot of fish. God bless you. It's going to be a huge hit on this state. It's not going to create a single job, mind you. It's not going to create a job anywhere. All it's going to do is take money out of your pocket and out of our economy. You guys pay tax. Chances are you are two, three generations here in the state of Wisconsin. You vote. You play by the rules. You mostly follow the speed limit like the rest of us. <laughs> Just because you happen to be a public employee doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you at all. <laughs> Nothing yeah. wrong. There is no shame in being a teacher. Oh Believe me, God. there is no shame in being a prison guard, in picking up trash, in being a police officer. There's no shame in public service. There's also no money in public service. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a political appointee yeah. without a college degree. <laughs> Yeah. Just, and you 
went to college. Just don't bring it up in the interview. All right? <laughs> I want you to know that on behalf of, of my Senate colleagues and myself, when we were down in Illinois, and believe me, it's, it's wonderful down there this time of year. Uh, people talk about the vacation, and the, the beaches of Rockford are beautiful. <laughs> What kept us going, what, and what personally kept me going every night, was I would hop online, I would check emails, I would see videos, I would see pictures of people, not just in Madison, but all over the state of Wisconsin, all over the state of Wisconsin. When I left, my Yahoo email address had like three or 400 emails in it. When I got home, it's over 20,000. Oh. I was just nuts. Um, but it's people thanking me, when, it, when we need, we, we have to be the ones thanking you. You were the ones who did what we wanted you to do. You read the bill. You gave and us that's all we wanted goal. anybody to do. You gave us the bill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More importantly, what you did is you got out and you talked to your family. You got out and talked to your neighbors. And for those who you couldn't convince, you told them to just read the bill. Don't take it from John Erpenbach, the state senator, or Scott Fitzgerald, the state senator. Don't listen to what we say. Just read it. Yeah. It's out there. It's unvarnished. It's in plain English. Everybody can understand it. And the more people who read it, the more people who were showing up in Madison yeah. and La Crosse and Green Bay and mm -hmm. Eau Claire and all over. And that just went on and on and on. And the pictures, I have to tell you, and the messages we got were unbelievable. People were checking out of their lives. They were going to work and then they were going to protest somewhere. They were going to work, and they were picking up a sign and walking a street somewhere. <coughs> it was unbelievable what we saw. But more importantly, you understood. You got exactly what was going on here. You know that there are corporations who have registered and hired lobbyists in the state of Wisconsin. You know the Koch brothers have lobbyists in the state of, of Wisconsin. Now, Governor Walker might call that job creation. <laughs> it's not the kind of job creation we need here in the state. So. It starts tonight, and we keep moving forward. We're going to campaign in Fond du Lac. We're going to campaign in Oshkosh. We're going to campaign in Wapan. We're going to campaign over in La Crosse. We're going to campaign up in Menominee. We're going to campaign from one end of the state to the other end of the state, and we're going to recall some senators. That's yeah. 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 I've gotten along fine with Democrats and Republicans, and we've been able to work out issues. Some really difficult issues, but we've been able to sit down and talk face to face and work these issues out. Not with this guy. This guy does not do that. You know, somebody asked me once, and just, I, I just it boggled my mind. How could Scott Walker put something together that quickly? The answer is simple. He did it. And it's been worked on for years and years and years. They finally got a puppet to implement this kind of agenda. Yeah. And it's not going to happen in Wisconsin. Yeah. No. No. We won't let you down. We are going to be right there with you every single day throughout this campaign. We're looking forward to it. Believe me, we are looking forward to it. your mother, your father, your in-laws, your outlaws, your neighbors, your church, your church members. You've got to make sure tonight you go and bring one other person to those polls and have them vote for Clappenburg for the Supreme Court. That's the Supreme Court of your job. So we all have a task to do tonight. Thank you all for being here.
Station for a Peg Lawton Schlager, our attorney from Wisconsin State Appalachian, who's been playing the ground, not a man is going to defend you.